guys. Today we're gonna make chicken wings and some pork shoulders. Country ribs. Country ribs. <laughs> but I'm gonna make them into tips after. So I'm gonna smoke them. Good, good. And then I'm gonna cut them up and then we're gonna make them into tips. Just a little something to put in the country smoker while we're up here at Fort Custer. Yep, so we're camping and we're gonna just throw this in the smoker and walk away. They're gonna go to the uh, the beach. We're going to the beach. It's gonna be nice out Yeah. Good. So just giving you guys an update on what we're snacking on for later on and how it's going out here at Fort Custer. I'm kind of a little under the weather. I'll show you our campsite real quick. Here's our campsite. Moth season right now, apparently. I don't know if you can see them all on the camera. There are gajillions of them. Gajillion. I can't even come up with a number. There are seriously every place, but they're not really bothersome or anything. They're just kind of around. It's nature, so it doesn't, doesn't really bother, bother us too much, I suppose kind of used to it. This guy right here. Let's see if I can get closer. Cool guy. Nice and peaceful out here. All right. You can see I didn't clean my awning yet. There's the old dirty country smoker. Love that thing, but I tell you what, um, one of my only gripes about this, um, there's no handles. So it's a portable smoker, but it's, uh, there's no handles. It's kind of a bear to move around. Just for a smaller person, you know, it's not too bad. I can move it around pretty easily, but, uh, you know, my wife's got tiny arms. There's the campsite, nice and quiet. Just they're just uh, making food and they're getting ready to go to the beach, to the lake up there. Water home is filthy. It rained and stormed. You can start turning on that smoker now. Crank up the smoker. Getting the country smoker warmed up. Just heard the flame kick on. Smoke's gonna dissipate right now. So these are the chicken wings. I just used a barbecue rub and some kosher salt. Yep, nice dry rub, sweet. Um, they're farm oh. raised, organic, <laughs> well, fresh. I'll throw some MSG on there when you're not looking then. I'm okay with the MSG. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's all they had, they didn't have any other. Uncle Roger will be proud. Chicken wings. <laughs> The king of flavor, Uncle Rogers, white powder of choice, MSG. Oh, those look good too. Yeah. Heck yeah, buddy. Same yep. dry rub. This thing got up to 300 and I'm, oh, that's about 350, between 350 and 300. I'm going to clean this off and then uh, we're going to set our temperature to what? 220. About 220. Three and a half hours. Sweet. Good. And then we're going to take them out and I'm going to cut them up and put them back in the pan with some barbecue sauce. Sweet. And it's gonna just crisp them up, make them really tender. Oh, good. I forgot my my tongs at home, so I'm oh. really hillbilly style oh, well. with the dollar store fork. Oh, well, we'll live. <laughs> this thing's producing some good smoke. It smells so good. I'm gonna pop it open and clean it off. It's crazy. Are these the things that are eating the trees? Are the caterpillars? Is that something that was eating the trees? Moths. Oh. Glad we don't have these many moths at home. It's beautiful out.
so green. We just pulled into the beach, got all settled. Kids are already on the water. And it is hot. It's 88 degrees out. Is it cool? I've never been to the beach though here. Autumn has came a few times. really quiet. I'm sure after 12 it's going to become really busy. Tuesday. It's day two at Fort Custer. I brought the kids down to the beach for a couple hours. They're in the water enjoying that. It's about 87 degrees. Tony stayed back at the motorhome to tend to the smoker and in a couple hours we're gonna have some really good barbecue. It's already making the campsite smell amazing. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day here in Michigan. Just got this really nice beach blanket today at Meyer. It was on clearance. And then I got the kids a couple, or I got us a couple towels too. Michigan. Motor City, camping, bear country. 
the Mighty Mac. And then Autumn got one too with all the different cities on there. I'll show you that one later. What is that? Garbage? Just set it right there. And... Thanks for being a good human and picking it up. That was nice. I thought it was a floaty. How's the water? Nice? Good. She's right there. I'm watching her. Take your towel off so I can see what it looks like. I don't even know what it looks like. You can turn it on. Clayton's gonna model his new towel for us. Pretty sweet. I like it. It says Youpers on it. Is it upside down? Nope. It's got all the cities though. Michigan. Michigan. Not all of them, but a lot. I don't know. I didn't even look. That'd be cool. That would be sweet. It's a nice day out. Look at the kayakers. The kayakers are just cruising along. my monsters. The water was freaking beautiful. So we came down for about an hour. It's really hot. There's no shade at all for me, which is fine, but we're going to come back down later after lunch. Look at this view. Isn't it amazing? Autumn's over there rinsing off her Everything. dirty toes. Bless you. Look at it. It's a really nice lake. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Grant told me to touch the dog! freaking out thinking his dog got lost. I would too. He said, you could have told me you took the dog. I had fun. It was fun. Next time I'll bring like a football or something. Mm -hmm. Some water toys. Yeah. Looks like they allow pets too. Just clean up after them. They're not allowed on the beach or in the water hmm. where the swimmers are. Dogs? Yeah, but they can be in the grassy areas. Oh. That's nice. We should have brought them. Next dog. time. We'll bring them next time. Beautiful woods. Swamp. Skiers. Oh, there's a kayak. Oh, sweet. I bet you they got good fishing. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think I got him. <laughs> About a two minute drive. Not bad at all. Actually, we'll take you guys down to, I think it's called the Jackson Hole. We'll go down there real quick before we go back to the campground. Normally, we would 
take a left here to go to the campground, but we're going to take it down and show you a couple more lakes and some more scenery of Fort Custer. With a birdhouse up there. Yeah. There's lots of birds. We've had this cardinal, male cardinal, twice now has been outside by the car every time we came out in the tree. So we're going to the Whiteford Lake, Jackson Hole, Kalamazoo River, and the group camp section of Fort Custer. Where they usually have like their Boy Scouts go and everything. So. Something. Closes at 10 over here. So you need to make sure that you are out by that time on this end. Right, you go to the Kalamazoo River, and then we're just gonna go straight. Two dragon. No, we got a ranger. <laughs> I can go off road and have a priest. Is that view bottom? That's See crazy. The birds. Entrance to the lake over here, you can still go swimming. Oh, yeah, there's like a, a duck yeah. too to fish out there. Yeah. No, that's not even like that's different. It's Whitford. I can't believe we saw that deer. Right. Cool. In the middle of the day. Hmm. Hey, I almost that's freaking hit one earlier. That's right, you didn't see that. There's a monster. No dirt bikes. Reminds me of the tree from Lion King. Yeah. Jungle Book.
I need. We gotta look for one of the ones. Look at the ranger. What does Christine work for? Camp. I don't know, but she she sells those pod things. They're pod, but it's called Camp Something. Uh. Um, but we have to keep an eye out for those two because they're based out of Ohio, yeah. and it's a smaller company. And she was really excited to see if we could see any up here in Michigan yet. So. <laughs> We're going to keep an eye out for those two. I want to get one. Our camping season. Oh, yeah. A pod? They're really nice. They're kind of like the R pods. Is that what the other yeah, ones are? Yeah, yeah. But hers is camp something. We're going to have to look it up and camp put the link on there for people if they're interested in something a little bit small. But they are made really good. They're not just thrown together. We're coming up to one of my favorite campsites. This is the one that I always try to get. book. And it's campsite 32 right there. What do you know? It's big Elevated and everything. It was full yesterday when we came in. It's up on a hill and pushed back, kind of. Alone. But the site we have is perfect. I don't have any problems with it. No. It's just nice and quiet out here as it is, usually. You like coming and camping on them? What's your favorite thing about camping? All, All of, it. of it. This is the trail we took yesterday, Autumn and I. Yeah. Drink. I got what? I got attacked by mosquitoes. <laughs> and I had bug spray on. I must be that sweet. It's nice here too because there's a variety of different like you're at a camping resort. There's my truck. Or you can only be in an RV or a 20 year newer camper. You can bring whatever you want here to camp. It's a clean truck, guys. We love state parks, especially for custom. We're back. She's a Look dirty lady. Box, guys. They're pretty, right. but they're everywhere. All right, so I'm going to check the meat and flip it. We're at 230 degrees. I said, can do it hillbilly style because that looks good. Got tough hands. Yeah. Smells so good. These moths are nuts. I like the smell. Play. Yeah. Oh, shit. Kidding, guys. You didn't see that. And that one's Bloopers. Don't tell Tony. <laughs> I just dropped his meat. Didn't you? Dad's gonna say you're ruining it because you got it open. So that is so good looking stuff. <laughs> Luckily, it's only at 255 degrees and my janky flipping systems. 
Ta da! Go ahead, guys. We only dropped 15 degrees to go back. Not very good. <laughs> yeah. it smells so good. We did it. Did it. Done. Uh oh, Brittany said the uh, food's about done. So I'm gonna come out here and check it out. Had uh, she made some chicken wings. like chicken wings and what faux rib tips? Some fake, no pork. Yeah, some pork, pork. Uh, rib cuts. cuts. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it's they really are. Tender. All looks good and it's meat. I cut it up. Halfway through. Oh, a third. Two thirds. Yep. I like them when they're like this. Yeah. We're paired up with some uh, beans. Oh, Looks great though. Beans. Yep. I like burnt ends. I wasn't trying to buy for skits. Good. Come on. You probably turn the smoker off. So I just came out of the smoker. I let it rest for about 25 minutes. And that's what the end is. We got chicken wings over here. Pork. Uh, pork ribs. Came out over pretty here. good on that uh, country smoker traveler. It's really good for the first time doing it this way also yep. for us. So yeah. we're still learning and we have not Having been. Fun with it. We have not been uh, unsatisfied whatsoever. We are highly satisfied with our country smokers. Yeah, just needs handles. It does need handles. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to eat. We're going to eat some dinner. Have a good day, guys. My wine. I don't have wine. We came in from uh, checking the meat, and Autumn's in there playing one of my favorite games Mario. There's Yoshi. Super Mario. Sweet. It's kind of warm outside, so we're taking a break. They were up at the uh, lake, so they had they had plenty of sun and outside time for a little while. And then uh, Autumn's gonna go back outside later on. If some of you guys were wondering why people are playing video games in RVs, because they've been doing stuff also all outside. Gee whiz. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Taking. A I had someone walk past and say, "Oh, this guy's on the laptop." Oh yeah, well some people work while they're uh, camping too and some people will camp full time or a bunch of different reasons to have a laptop. 